Welcome to Dr. Jester Rants, and I'm gonna rant about more retarded bullshit on Friday. So be prepared, on Monday there's going to be accumulation of a retarded bullshit. Either way, let's go. From bounding to comics, IGN employees allegedly report morale, morale is at an all-time low. <laughs> Amid the editorial battle over article voicing support for Palestine. Well, terrorism, you know the words. That, I also want to cover it from Fun Bite, inside IGN battle for editorial independence. Our morale has been this low, IGN employees say, a week after confronting their parent company. <sighs> IGN, one of the largest websites dedicated to covering video game news and reviews, only went a very public scandal this month. And the trouble began when the site's parent company, J2 Global, seemingly removed an article on the site titled How to Help Palestinian Civilians, which acted as a call to readers for humanitarian aid, all without editorial input or authorization. Unfortunately, the situation only appears to be growing more complicated and intense. And to summarize the absolute shit show, uh, IGN America decided to go and publish an article where they actually ended up listing a bunch of um, charities who are known to be funding Hamas, including the United Nations something something... Well, it's the United Nations branch dedicated solely to the Palestinians. As you know, there is a, also a United Nations branch dedicated for refugees. Those are probably se pro properly settled, and when they do, they lose their status as refugees, they do not pass on the status to their kids and things like that. Unlike the other entity in the UN, where they dedicate themselves to the Palestinian refugee, which, in fact, even after they are resettled, they still hold the refugee status. They still pass on the refugee status to their kids and to their kids and kids and so on and so forth. And this is a known organization from within the UN who funds terrorism. Mm, yeah. And, to top it all, this was against the proper outlet, as I to say, uh, motto, or, no, not motto, uh, publishing, no, no, subjects, mm, no, uh, theme, yeah, probably, theme. Mm. It fell outside IGN's theme of coverage, because it's supposed to be an entertainment website, general entertainment, mostly uh, dedicated to games. But they went on and published a tiny little picture up on top of the website with a tiny little flag of the terrorist country, Palestinians. In fact, here is a tiny little interesting information. Before 1979 and before Jordanians decided to say fuck you, Palestinians, doodles, they used to have the same flag. But after all of that, Jordan changed their flag to a kind of like a tiny little sun or a large asterisk something on the red bit of the flag. Yes, to differentiate them from the Palestinians. As you can see, the Palestine is just um, another word or or something, or an excuse. There you go, an excuse to be an anti-Semite. That's what it is. Anyway, let's go and finish this. The action was seen as a major step over the boundary between corporate ownership and editorial independence traditionally expected in free journalism. Look, you're getting paid to write a certain type of subjects. You're not getting paid to write an opinion piece where you link a bunch of terrorist supporting organizations that, I am sorry, I support completely the actions of the companies that decided to censor those journalists. I am sorry, but that's what it is. And even, for instance, um, let's see, yeah, Dark Side of Gaming, the SO, which I usually go there to check gaming news, 
is mostly a right wing. Suddenly they go on and publish a, an Israeli flag up on top and they show a bunch of charities that support Israel or yeah, Israel. And then suddenly the creator of DSO Gaming goes on and takes out the article or the owner takes out the article and condemns the journalists behind it. I'll still support the company who did it, the and the the owner or whatever, the head honcho or something, the uh, the leader or the, the editor taking out the article and telling the employees, shh, shh, you're not supposed to be doing that. I'll still support it because they are supposed to be a gaming uh, a gaming outlet, an outlet dedicated to gaming, and not this unless they have gone out of their way to sh um, to say or show that they are politics plus gaming like Kotaku, then yeah, so kind of thing. Hmm. Unless the company who owns Kotaku decides, for instance, yeah, hey, we are distancing ourselves from politics, so not or no pro-Israel, no pro-Palestine articles. Goodbye. Say goodbye to those. Those I will, I will also stand with the company as well. So in other words, this is bull fucking shit from these woke imbeciles having a tamper tantrum who doesn't understand what's free speech. What else is new? They are very, very notoriously very anti-free speech and they do not know or understand what free speech stands for. They actually even believe that, oh, so, um, you're not getting sussing but the government, so it's not so so sharp as you. That's not how things work. That's not how things are. Just because uh, it's not the government doesn't stop being censorship. If it's a company censoring you or you doing a self-censorship because uh, you're afraid of the woke mob or because um, you're afraid of being cancelled, that's also censorship. Yes, it pains to them, but um, it pains to the, uh, for them to know this, but I'm sorry, it is reality. <sighs> well, what was I? Indeed necessary for continued credibility. Certainly, certainly several dozen IGN staffers thought so, two days after the article was removed. 82 out of 238 IGN employees, 82 who should be fired for doing this and especially for supporting terrorism. They should be fired. Signed a public statement to express their disapproval and plead their case for common editorial independence. I am sorry, you are an entertainment website not dedicated to politics. So you should shut the fuck up and do as you are told because you are a goddamn fucking employee getting paid to write articles about entertainment and games. The whole thing is worth a reading, but the centerpiece was that the parent company shouldn't be able to unilaterally remove content created by and endorsed by the editorial wing. I am sorry, the parent company should, because they own everything in there, it's their property. I am sorry, that's how it is. Roughly a day after the reaction, <coughs> sorry, I'm having allergy crisis. Things were looking up. Multiple sources within IGN who wish to remain anonymous for the fear of reprisal tell Fumbite the chief content officer and site co-founder Pierre Schneider assured staff that corporate was listening. The proper people had supposedly seen the complaints and were open to a discussion. Fire them all. The mood turned tenuous but optimistic given Schneider's comments. The letter disapproval originally set for May 21st, 2021 to hold set a discussion between all involved parties. Schneid Schneider told the editors they would at least be included in those conversations. The reverse now appears true. During the week, Schneider backtracked his earlier statement internally, suddenly placing our blame for the original article's removal and issuing fallout on himself. If that were true, it would make the issue an entirely editorial matter magically absolving J2 Global and Zeef Davis of the corporate interference which they were accused. I am sorry, but J2 Global and Zeef Davis did not... Jesus 
crazy. English? Use the words. Use words. Come on. Use your words, Jester. J2 Globo and Ziff Davis did nothing wrong. All source maintained this version of events was very sudden and changing narrative. One described it as Schneider falling on the sword. Up until that point just a few days ago, the chief content officer never named himself or any editor as the source of the original discussion decision, sorry. Now morale is an all-time low, following a further all-hands meeting attended by Ziff Davis President Steve Horowitz. The executive described the issue as a purely IGN editorial problem, which IGN editorial and by the extension not its parent company would clean up itself. Like I said, once again, you are crying and throwing a temper tantrum over something that shouldn't even be uh, you shouldn't even be throwing a temper tantrum. Because, like I said, this is something that IGN shouldn't have covered, and secondly, the parent company has all the rights over this. They are paying people to write certain articles, not for them to waste their time on an article that is not supposed to be in a gaming website. The end. But no, these people are absolutely retarded. They actually smell their own farts and think that, that those things are supposed to be the purest of the pure in air quality. But no, no, when they shit, they eat their own shit, thinking it's chocolate, Swiss chocolate. Uh, these people are retarded, I'm telling you. Let's say I did third by session. Okay, Horowitz further attempted to pit employees against each other by assaulting several people who signed up and later were coerced or tricked doing so. I'm not. I'm thinking that maybe that is true because. Hey. Hey, you, you signed that list, otherwise you are a Nazi. You don't want to be a Nazi, right? You don't want to be cancelled, or I'm gonna send the cancel mob on top of you. Yes, the cancel mob is coming over you. Hey, hey. No, no, no. Hey, hey, look, look what happened. Mm, look, wouldn't it be a shame if I... Drop this little vase over here. Mm. That's exactly what it is. It's called it's called cancel mob. They will cancel you if they disagree with you or if you don't buckle to their pressure. So I'm thinking maybe mm, maybe Horowitz is right. Either way, let's go. Though he did not provide any evidence of that claim, he did, however, point to the number of employees who did not sign the letter as proof that most of the company did not support it. Horowitz, Horowitz did nothing wrong. Another possibility, of course, is that some avoided doing so out of further fear of retaliation. Now, considering that 82 did, and some of them, and knowing how cancel culture operates, I'm pretty sure some of those of the 82 were also also coerced into signing. If you're accused as being a Nazi by the gaming journalists, you're pretty much cancelled. Because that's how these imbecilic, fat sniffing, shit eating morons work. All of this occurs just weeks before a somewhat uncertain E3, the first since 2019 and the first ever to be an all digital affair. The video game trade show and its contemporaneous events make up one of IGN's highest traffic periods of the year. Now, many employees say they are entering this highly stressful time without faith that their parent company supports them or desire to craft and promote good journalism. Well, look, I don't think they promote good journalism based on some of the articles that they write being mostly a mess than a hit or being completely games journalist level in quality but you actually think that games journalism or promote good journalism is writing an article supporting terrorists it, what world are you imbecilic cock shit fuck over morons living in and, and this is because IGN Israel also live and um, made a stir because if it wasn't for them, this would have been up in, on their website up until today, I assume. 
with uh, people donating to terrorists. Hmm. What a bunch of cock sucking, cum guzzling, shit eating, fart sniffing morons. Anyway, this is from Bound Into Comics. This is the article which I commented, and they do clear up a few things, and I managed to work on the stuff, republish the piece. Um, the magic man work on uh, Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, and it's disgusting, more of the article in there as well. If that were true, Trump explained rules being an issue internally, editorial matter, yeah, the source for them or the anonymous. So basically, Steve Horowitz, thank you for at least doing some of the things that uh, you're supposed to do as a CEO and president of Ziff Davis. Because, quite frankly, I am sorry, if I'm going to a, a, a gaming website, I don't want to read much about politics. Unless it's in-game politics or game-related politics. I am sorry. This, this is what it is. And even more so, that's um, an actual company. They are dictating what an employee should or should not do because they are paying their wages. I am sorry, that's what it is. It's how it is. No ifs, no buts. The end. Anyway, if you like what you see here, stay right here on fucking youtube.com forward slash jester. Or if you want more spicy content, head to beachute.com forward slash Jester or minds.com forward slash Jester for spicy and exclusive content. It even has, yes, an exclusive thumbnail. See, production value is going up, up, and away. Yes, I'm all about production values and quality going up. Don't you like that? Mmm, um, boy. Anyway, oh, and see you guys on. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys on fucking Monday. 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 I need to improve the production values on this one. We're creating an echo, but there he is. Either way, bye bye.